from my observation, most people are not manifesting what they want as much as like they do the meditation or the dream board or the visions like in the morning or at night, what they yes. want like for five minutes, 10 minutes, look at a vision board and incantation affirmations and stuff. But during the whole day, when you don't have money, you focus on, I need more money. I need more money. When you have back pain, I've got back pain. It's still hurting me. When you've got relationship issues, you're actually in the argument. So the more time that you spend on in fear that you don't have, then you're attracting that rather than what you want. And what you explain, like in my understanding is, let's just say if you're in a ditch trying to get up and you're trying to pull yourself up, that's a lot of effort. And someone reaches out their hand and you're trying to pull it up. But imagine that hand is actually pulling you up. So mm -hmm. both situations you're getting up, but one is like someone pulling you up versus you having to pull yourself up. It's just so much less effort. Just think how grateful you are that somebody pulls you out of the mud. It's like, oh, I don't have to struggle. It's like, huh. it's like somebody massages your back. You just get to relax. You just get to enjoy. Now, who teaches law of attraction about, ah, huh, just go into this bliss state and feel the joy of that new future loving you and changing you now. But here's the catch. Here's the rub. And this may be why my book is beyond what I'm going to teach right now what I'm giving you all, because you can use this technique right now and be able to do it, even if you don't know how to run energy. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the bottom line is there's three arenas of our life. And this is the ultimate issue of success, because that's what your theme is. There's success around health, relationships, and successes. You know, overt success, making money or artistic or whatever your success is. Those are the three arenas, health, relationship, and successes. Now, most people come in with everybody's wounded on this planet. Everybody's had soul wounding as part of the game of being here. But the question is, which arena can you allow miracles to manifest? And maybe you could allow a little more money than you have now, or maybe you could allow a lot more money, or maybe you could allow yourself to have that romantic partner or have the relationship be wonderful. Whichever the issues are, here's the bottom line. The bottom line is, you cannot bypass the law of attraction. Abraham Hicks talks about this a lot. So if you're blocked, emotionally blocked for some reason, and we all are, we all have these issues. But if you think about what you want and it just makes you sad or makes you angry or fearful or whatever the emotion is, you're not ready for that one yet. If you can think about something that you want and you can feel the relief Relief comes first in most cases, and then comes joy, and then comes gratitude. And so if you can just go into relief and then feel the joy, and maybe even feel the gratitude of that new future, you're probably ready for it. But if it doesn't manifest, I call this a dark miracle. And it's a term I coined. And what it means is the universe is always looking out on our behalf. It's called pronoia, the opposite of paranoia. The universe loves you beyond all measure. But when horrible things happen or you get the exact opposite of what you thought you wanted, it's not because you're being punished or you're failing. It's because you still have beliefs that aren't working for you. That's the definition of failure is when your beliefs aren't working on your behalf. So it's showing you something. It's a gift. Now, when we experience tragedy or failure or whatever, it always feels terrible. It's supposed to feel bad because it motivates us to change. 